A product service system is when, instead of buying a product to be owned forever, you buy a service from the product for a given period. For example, if you buy a laptop, you have to give it back to the manufacturers when you're finished with it. This means products don't end up in landfill. It also reserves resources and carbon emissions. Hyperconsumption is not good for the planet and it's not good for us. However, our economic system supports it. Therefore, in order to implement product service systems, governments have to subsidise them. However, interference in markets is thought to cause inefficiency and at worst is authoritarian. And we need to utilise entrepreneurship as much as possible to develop sustainable technologies. Therefore, the process must stay as politically neutral as possible so as not to alienate key players on each side of the political spectrum. Hyperconsumption is supported by the ideology of private property. When we buy things to express our inner selves, these products have a sentimental value, therefore we want to keep them forever. We also buy things to differentiate ourselves. If people want to appear to support sustainability, they may want to buy services, not products. In conclusion, for product service systems to work, we need government subsidies. We need to maintain opportunities for entrepreneurship. We must stay politically neutral. It may not be used for possessions of sentimental value, but it may be used for items of social differentiation, especially if sustainable consumption is socially desirable.